Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh, oh I love you Hello there, and welcome to the Smokin' Joe Show. My name is Smokin' Joe. Also, Joe is fine. Uh, and we have a wonderful show for you here tonight. We got Lucy Lam in the house. We got Catherine. Uh, we're talking about some really serious stuff. Um, I'll let her go into it later. But uh, first and foremost, I ask everyone to please share this video. I can't reach it at all today, but share this video because the more people are in the chat the more interaction we have the more fun it is and then more people can see it and especially this episode we're covering some really important stuff so i want everyone that can see it to see it um, but uh, if you're watching this in the future on youtube please subscribe to my channel because then you'll be updated when new videos pop up and we can show you all the cool stuff uh, you know and then you just get linked in with everything we're doing uh so so meaning uh, uh and then our uh there we go. We all, we, sponsors, this is new to me. We want to thank our sponsors who make this show possible. Please visit these pages and give them a like. The first one is Kyanite Concepts, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. At Kyanite Concepts, we believe we are art. Art is all around us. It plays a fundamental role in shaping our culture and shifting our perspective. Partnering with youth artists and making eco-friendly threads for the family. We have a goal of inspiring young artists to achieve their dreams. Empowering their lives will be our greatest joy. Please follow us at, at Kynite Concepts on Instagram. Also like us on Facebook to watch the magic unfold while the brand and mission grow. Also, we'd like to thank Shadow Wick Creations. From candles to incense, sachets to bath salts, Shadow Wick is a place where you can find spiritual implements made with inspiration and intent. So Etsy.com slash Shadow Wick Creations to check all that stuff. And I can vouch those candles are dope. Uh, so why don't we, uh, you know, oh, sponsorship opportunities are now available, right now. If you have a business and want to sponsor what we're doing, you want to get involved, they are available for Galactic Get Down and Vicarious Visions. Contact us today for more information on how you can get involved. And we'll dive right into the weekend get down. Let's get down around town, right around here in the weekend get down. Get down. Okay, so first and foremost, happening in... I don't know, an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Dustin Thomas will be playing in town. Good old friend of mine, Dustin Thomas, with Spare Change Trio. Spare Change Trio will be at the Galactic Get Down, and they're playing at the 7th Street entry tonight. I can also, I also know for a fact that Trill LeBeau of Cosmic Serenity will be joining Dustin for the show tonight, and I think all week. Um, oh, here we go. Dustin Thomas, big hair, big smiles, and a whole lot of love. International globetrotter, jet setter, Dustin Thomas is making waves from Australia to Moscow with his infectious blend of beatbox slash soul funk. Soul folk. Soul folk. Armed with a voice, a guitar, and universal anthems of faith, love, and war, this young artist continues to inspire hearts around the world on his mission of music, joy, and peace. Presented, in part, by Vicarious Visions. And just add to the lineup, yep, Trill LeBeau from Cosmic Serenity, and head right down right after the show. As soon as it's over, credits roll, just get yourself on down there. Right on down to the 7th Street entry, and it's, it's a great venue, you know. Uh, and those of you who aren't going to that show, I bet I know where you are going, and that is Blue Ox Music Festival. This is a festival put on by Pertnier, hosted by Pertnier, good friends of mine. I've known them for a long time. Uh, and I'm super proud of them for putting on this major festival, Blue Ox 2019. It is their fifth year, held on the grounds of Whispering Pines Campground in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. This annual event features some of the best bluegrass roots and Americana music, all held in intimate wooded campgrounds. Three days of music and camping. Don't miss out. Don't do it. My very good friend and cello player Olivia Quintanilla is on her way there right now. So go find her. Friday and Saturday, we have the Prius, Pri Prius, Prius, anniversary block party, hosted by Pri Prize Brewing Company. Friday on the main stage, we got Battle Rat, Seaberg and the Black Velvet Punks, Jaden James and the Hunger, and Four on the Floor. Saturday, you got May Simpson Music playing Galactic to Get Down, Gentleman Speaker, Ahem, Black Widows, Gully Boys, Awesome, Nookie Jones, and Black Market Brass. So that. That sounds super fun. I'm going to be out of town, but if I were in town, I would go to that. 
Where am I going to be, you ask? Friday, I will be in Des Moines. Dead Larry is celebrating, get, get this, our 15 year anniversary as a band. We've been a band since 2004 in high school. Um, and we decided we'd do a, a little run, a weekend of shows, uh, back where it all started. And we're starting in Des Moines, one of our you know, first and best markets. Dead Larry's playing with L-Dub at all these shows. And joining us in Des Moines will be Gus Royale. Doors are at 8.30, music's at 9, it's 21 plus, 10 bucks if you buy your tickets now, 13 bucks at the door. I'll read the Dead, Dead Larry bio, although I'm sure a lot of you know. The Dead Larry's powerful blend of high energy rock, dance, and funk shakes the foundation of modern music. From rock driven sea shanties to pulsating dance beats, from Beatle esque harmonies to spine chilling screams, from shake yo booty funk jams to orchestral themes of space and time travel. <laughs> Dead Larry is one thing original. The band was formed in a basement in high school 15 years ago, and over, after over a decade and a half of writing, touring, and chasing the dream, Dead Larry has grown to be one of the most prominent independent rock bands coming out of the Midwest. So we are proud of that, and we are happy to be celebrating our 15-year anniversary this weekend. But in town, we got Pink Talking Fish. If you like Pink Floyd, you like Talking Heads, you like Fish, you're going to love this show. Pink Talking Fish. Uh, and uh, with uh, Talking Heads and Fish with Steve McCormick and Friends, and that features members of the Big Woo, and I bet I know who that is. It's probably Mark Grunhofer. That is Friday, June 14, 2019. General admission is 16 bucks in advance, $18 a day of show. If you want to go up in the balcony and be fancy, it is $30. Saturday, the Dead Larry Tour rolls on to our hometown, uh, where I spent all my formative years, uh, Iowa City, Iowa. We're playing at Gabe's, a place we've played for 15 years. Uh, once again with L-Dub and then local band Mansfield Avenue will be joining us for that one. Doors are at 8.30, music's at 9, it is 10 bucks. I'm not gonna read the Dead Larry bio every time. Um, but you know, so, uh, and then we don't have a slide for it, but Sunday, Dead Larry is finishing up this run uh, in Arnold's Park at Captain's Getaway, kind of by, in Okaboji, Iowa, essentially, which is really close to the first place that I ever put on a music festival. So catch Dead Larry this weekend, because you know, because uh, because it's fun, we're celebrating. It's going to be a really great time. But moving on to Galactic Get Down, of course, we have new merchandise. You might have seen it. We got wet down T-shirts and tank tops. That's right. The most infamous prank at a festival of our age, the wet dong. We have just learned to embrace it and capitalize upon it. Uh, wet dong T-shirts and tank tops are here for a limited time, only until June 30th, so the end of this month. So you got to get it before the end of June. Also check out our other merchandise in our catalog. We have two styles of t-shirts, two styles of hoodies. We got get down rocket socks. We got yoga shorts and a backpack, Adam Star Pack. The merchandise is only available online and only for a limited time. Featuring artwork by Galactic Get Down artist Mary Thompson, who did the rocket logo. Dizzle Arts, who did Adam, uh, the guy sitting on the moon. And Moonisota, which is the planet. And Jordan Oliver, that did our Apollo 50th anniversary art. What is Galactic Get Down, you say? I'm just seeing the show for the first time. I just wandered in off the street and I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Galactic Get Down Music and Camping Festival is the premier music, or the premier outer space themed music festival uh, in the world, I think. I'm just going to say it. It is July 18th through 20th, 2019 at Outback Ranch in Houston, Minnesota. That's in the Winona La Crosse area. We are celebrating the 50 year anniversary of the first moon landing on July 20th, 1969. It happened. Fight me. But you can only fight me if you buy a ticket and come to Galactic Get Down, and then I'll fight you. $100 pre-sale tickets are on right now, but you know, uh, get your tickets now. You're going to save a bunch of money. If you're buying two tickets, you're going to save $70 if you buy your tickets in advance as opposed to at the gate. So there's no reason not to. Tomorrow's Friday. For more, for more info, visit www.galacticgetdown.com. You know what? I'm just going to read it this time. I'm not even going to go. I've proved that I can say it all in one breath. This festival is hosted by your funky friends, Dead Larry, and, you know, in, you know, in, in coordination with our 15-year anniversary. Let's do that. Featuring Zach Deputy, he has two sets, Friday and Saturday. we got That One Guy, Cass Haley, Heatbox, Frog Leg, The Lowest Pair, Smoking Joe, Reed Grimm, Space Monkey Mafia, Mae Simpson, Big Zack, Gin Strings, Space Monster, Porky's Groove Machine, Earth to Clark, Chase Mackay, String Dingers, Lifted Minds, Flow State, Goop City Music, Spare Change Trio, Splimit, 
Undercover Organism, Karate Chop Silence, Hot Pink Hangover, Gus Royale, Granola, High Rise, Whiskey for the Lady, Mikey D, Ira Hayes and the Strays, Swashbuckler, Fishbine Jeffrey, John Sullivan, Sammy Danger Strings, Luminous, Chase Ingram, Tyler Rennie, Jeremy Beeman, and Danny Reese. So you can understand it better that time than I did the last few weeks. So I think that's important. They're all spread out over here. I can't remember. There's one person in the actual audience. Angela. Oh, yeah, phone charges. Anyway, um, so that is it for the weekend get down and what's getting down around town. Um, oh, do I jump to this other script now, John? Yeah, hold on. Do I just read it? Aha! You can bring Cat up before the video. I thought it was after the video. Okay, I would like to introduce Cat, who's going to come up and talk to us about the worst epidemic uh, that our generation has ever seen, that America has ever seen, uh, in terms of a drug epidemic that wasn't, you know, polio. Um, so, Cat, you can come on up here. Uh, get get your mic. Uh, we have two of them right here. Get all hooked up. You can say hi. I think we're using that camera right now. Yep. That one. Hello. So yeah, just clip it on to your up here, and you don't have to worry about it. They can hear you. Cool. Watch as I like, completely fumble with this. Oh, you're good. Right. So yeah, and I mean, this is an issue that you know is not only devastatingly important, but it's also really close to home. Like many times over, close to home. Yeah. You know, I mean, my best friend growing up, uh, you know, died of a heroin overdose, and that was a few years ago, and then more and more friends as we go on. Yep, I've lost two, two soul siblings this year in less than four months to um, overdoses and addiction. And it's, that's not an uncommon story. No, and I mean, honestly, we're getting this bad batch right now, which I appreciate you having me on right now. Absolutely. Um, you know, I know in 2016, I went to three funerals in six yeah. weeks, you know, because we had a, a bad batch come through, right? It's supposed to be wedding time for us, you know what I mean? Yeah, right? Not funeral time. Not funeral time. Yep. So, are, we, are we jumping in? Are we yeah, doing a video? Just, yeah, okay. we're, we're, all right, we're Rad. jumping in. Awesome. Video is afterwards. All right, I didn't, all right, Rad, sorry. Yeah, no, I'm you're good. Stuff now. Okay. All right. Um, Cause we'll do the serious stuff, we'll watch the video, then we'll play a game. Deal? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. John's nodding and waving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Catherine Falconier. Um, I've been in healthcare for about 13 years. I worked for Hennepin County uh, Detox as well as being an assistant coordinator at a women's inpatient treatment center in St. Paul. Um, addiction is very close to us as a. As and everyone I know, before. really. Yeah, it's really. Oh, I'm so thankful that we can talk about this as a community because I feel like it's affecting our community um, very, very hard right now. Um, anyway, that being said, uh, I have to I have to do a little disclaimer here, guys. Yep, disclaimer, everyone. Disclaimer for the lawyers. We're not doctors. Right. Yep, we're not a doctor. We're not doctors. We don't make one doctor together either. Nope, I nope. am. We can't not stand on each other's shoulders and. <laughs> Put on a trench coat. Yeah, there you go. Wear a doctor. Lab coat. Sorry. That's what it's. That's how you do it. Right? That's how you do okay. it. Yeah, I've seen little rascals before. <laughs> All right. Uh, the content of this show, such as text, graphics, and other material, are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your doctor or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. If you think you or someone near you is having a medical emergency, please call 911. Not us. Not us. No. Nope. I'm a TV show host. And if you, actually after this, if you need help finding resources or you have extra questions about where to get test kits or uh, syringe exchanges or anything like that, I will be available after this live stream to answer any questions that you might Like an have. AMA. Yep. So if there's enough interest, I'll go live on my own stream and share it to Joe's post. Cool. I'll be a conduit. Uh, oh, please. So the first thing on my list says current relevance. Yeah. Historical so, feedback. So um, <laughs> we have in the metro area, uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, South St. Paul, and in Washington County, We've had 175 overdoses and 17 deaths in the last two weeks. 
Yeah, two weeks. Yep. And that was like, I mean, I think that statistic was made five or six days ago. I don't think, not even, I yeah. think. Yeah, but so, I mean, like, even it's more still than that come up. Yep. Um, so, uh, there's a high density of overdoses happening in the East Phillips neighborhood, specifically. Uh, so if you are around there, please be aware of that. Is that in Minneapolis? Yes. I don't know my neighborhoods. Yep, okay. yep. East Phillips is in Minneapolis. Okay. So. Um, so why are people overdosing all of a sudden? Yeah, right? like a hundred, like this, hundreds There's of this rash, right? And I mean, it kind of our awareness started with the five men on the, on the lawn in St. Paul who all overdosed at the same time. Right. Um, and it is being traced back to fentanyl. And I think a lot of us who are watching... Um, are already aware that this is kind of a really uh, big deal right now, but a lot of dealers are cutting their heroin with fentanyl to increase its potency, but at the same time, they're, uh, they're measuring what devices or equipment are not as specialized or as sensitive as anything in the healthcare region. Yeah, yeah, we're finding fentanyl in a lot of different substances now, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not just heroin. Yeah, no, it's you know? it's pretty much everywhere, um, unfortunately. So that uh, I'd like to mention test strips real quick. Bunk police um, online, they have a really. I mean, it's it's like a dollar ninety nine for one test strip. You can figure out if you have fentanyl in anything, um, and kind of maybe avoid any um, further harm to you or anyone in your area. Um, so fentanyl, uh, fentanyl was a factor in 91% of fatalities related to synthetic, synthetic opioids in 2017. And let's see, fentanyl, a heroin potency, availability. Um, so potency, fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. Right. Have you seen the picture where they like? Yep. So it's approximately around like three micrograms, I think. Of, and it's readily available. And then there's just like a couple grains. Right. Well, um, uh, most of them are, uh, most of the fentanyl that's being put out right now is made in like clandestine labs in someone's right. basement or something, you know? I mean, it's it's so readily available. Right. It's, so, which is what's so dangerous. Yep. Yeah, so exactly. let's move on real quick to mm -hmm. just the emergency situations. I think that's important. Unless there's more you have to say oh. about. Oh, uh, nope. Just like, you know, uh, what to look for when someone's ODing, what to do. Absolutely. What to do, what to do, what to do. Right. If this ha should happen around you, whether you know these people or not. You know, I mean, we're telling you to go to a music festival, a lot of music festivals, you know, it's a public event, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, you know, you get that many people together, the odds that someone uh, is going to make some bad decisions is, you know, it's it's not small. No. No, unfortunately, it's So not. what do you I look wish, for? I wish I didn't have to be here talking about this right, right now. But, like, you know, <laughs> but, yeah. um, all right, so what are we looking for? So, um, signs of OD would be like a marked increase in confusion, uh, delirium, acting really drunk all of a sudden, vomiting a lot, um, you know, kind of in and out of consciousness is a big deal. That's kind of the first right. um, immediate sign that people see, especially with fentanyl, is that you pass out, um, which is why people can't give themselves life-saving drugs like naloxone, or, right. you know. Um, so, uh, so irregular or non-existent breathing, cold, clammy skin, pinpoint pupils, seizures, I mean... So, I mean, I mean, I guess it's... If you know someone's using, it'd be obvious, I right. guess. But if you don't know that they're using, would it still be just as obvious? That's, what, that's always hard. Right. I think that the biggest factor in recognizing this would be the loss of consciousness. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if you saw someone jumping around and they're sweating too much, you right. know they're probably on a, a not on a downer. Right. You know what I mean? And they pass out, that's probably dehydration or something like that. But, you know, and you if, see someone you know has kind of been like super mellow or whatever, right. and all of a sudden and they're on we, the ground. You know, and if we see this happening, what can we do something about it? And we're going to get in trouble? So, no, absolutely not. So there is um, a good Samaritan law here in Minnesota called Steve's Law. Um, so if, if you call emergency services, basically, you are uh, up to a certain level immune from being charged with anything. So if you are with this person and um, partaking and having a good time or whatnot, right. but, um, or you're struggling with addiction, uh, if you call emergency services, you will not be prosecuted for being there. So um, yeah, just because you're doing something illegal, 
when someone overdoses does not mean that you should not immediately call for help and do right. everything you can. Right. And let's talk about Narcan. Narcan. People talk about it all the time. Narcan, naloxone, there are a couple different um, ways that it is administered. There's a nasal spray that you can get and uh, there's an intramuscular, so it's an injection. So now I'm going to talk about needle exchanges All right, all here right. in Minneapolis. So I am all about harm reduction. I think that we have figured out that the war on drugs and uh, corporal punishment is not freaking working. Um, I Doesn't just, seem to be. No, and we figured that out in the 80s and we just kept going. So <laughs> it's, I mean, and that's profitable. a whole different thing. But um, so a couple different places that you could go. I think he's about to pop up a little uh, informational thing. So Just Us Health used to be um, the Minnesota AIDS project, but they now have a new project, mainline project. Uh, here are all of their numbers and their websites, uh, which have all of the information that you might need to get there. You can go there. It is a judgment-free uh, space. Anyone is welcome. Everyone is safe, including those who are, you know, our LGBTQIA brothers and sisters. Um, they will give you free, cle free clean needles. You can dispose of your dirty needles there, and they also, if uh, you know someone who is struggling with addiction, you're close to this, you can go to one of these needle exchanges and they will give you free naloxone kits. I went in um, after our first friend passed, yeah. and I do not go anywhere without a, a Narcan kit anymore. I, have two I, in my I place definitely right now. have never gotten one myself, but you know, I mean, I think. I think with this severe of an epidemic, we all kind of need to wake up a little bit and realize that it could easily happen to you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Over, I mean, hundreds, over, hundred, well, over 175 in two weeks. Two like, weeks. That's crazy. Yep, and it's not, um, it's not, they're saying it's not a different color this time. You know, in 2016, it was called the Pink Death. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I don't know. But um, anyway, before so we go. Can, they'll go and you can go in, ask for them, you get them for free, they'll tell you how to use them. Um, I think I think there was a CPR slide I would really like you guys to check out, um, just to know what to do. Right. And then, so how do you, yeah, how do you use it? Is it easy to use? Hard to do? When do you use it? So when you would uh, that would be after you have assessed the individual and you are, see that they are overdosing, especially if you know that they have a history of use, or if you right. have kind of suspected that they've been using. Um, so there is a flow chart here. I think he's about to pop up. Uh, You'd want to assess the individual, see if you, uh, if they are, oh, look at that. That is super cool. All right. <laughs> uh, if you are not alone, make sure someone is calling 911. If you've ever been through a CPR class, you kind of know the chain of events that need yep. to happen. If you are alone, you need to perform CPR for two minutes first, then call EMS, and then get the naloxone. The biggest issue here is keeping blood flowing to the major organs. Right. Um, and a, uh, naloxone, you give it, wait five minutes, give it again if there's no, well, there's a party it's happening. It's bumping. <laughs> um, if there's no difference, if they haven't woken up, um, make sure that you give it, again, you can give it as many times as you need before EMS shows up. Uh, if your uh, friend is vomiting, please turn them on their side so that they don't aspirate. And then, uh uh, I just only have a couple more things. Emotional support. Support for people in uh, need and avoiding social stigma. What do you got? All right, listen. <laughs> uh, those suffering from mental illness are twice as likely to have addiction issues. Um, I know this firsthand. I have mental illness. I try to be as open about that as possible. I'm also in recovery. I have uh, almost three years off of a serious substance. Congratulations. Um, thank you. And I know that we've all, several of us have decided that that's not the way to go anymore. I've quit right? some things. Yeah. Uh, I stopped doing some stuff. It wasn't the easiest yeah. thing. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. I think the biggest thing is if you know someone is struggling with addiction, I, I, it's natural to be terrified, right? It's natural to be so afraid and really just kind of want to glom on to this idea of get help, get help, get help, right? right? But that's not, that's not what people who are trying to get clean need. What people who are trying to get clean need are support and friendship. People who will say, I am here, I love you no matter what, and I will be here no matter what you choose. The thing is, I've never met someone who was forced into treatment that succeeded. In no, that's not how treatment relapse. works. And yeah. I mean, it's just just because you're struggling with addiction makes you know less of a person. I mean, I, I can't believe you have to say that. 
but right. it's true, you know. Right. It's a, it's a disease. Well, we know that mental illness uh, and trauma are uh, more prevalent in areas of poverty, especially with people of color. Mm -hmm. We know that addiction rates are very high um, with those struggling with poverty and the people of color. And, I mean, I could go into the whole, right. uh, you know, new so, Jim Crow law, but I'm not going to. Just but. basically all we're saying is keep an open mind, you know, and just try as best, I mean, in this situation and all situations, to put yourself in the place of this person, and, and it's still a person, and, and no matter their choices, you know, and especially if the, the only person they're hurting is themselves. Right, and it is um, painful to watch someone painful. you love Absolutely. go down I mean, that there, road. Absolutely, there's no, you know, there's no, there's no. Can't tell you how to that. live your life. That's not, you know what I mean. But right, like, but I think the kindness, biggest thing is, patience. is like, just go hang out, yeah. be a friend. You know, I think that addiction, um, especially in the throes of addiction, is really lonely and isolating. Yeah. Um, and I think that we need to focus more on harm reduction rather than, you know, complete abstinence. All right, so let's let's get let's keep moving. Who to contact for help? Local resources, national resources. All right, guys. We've got a couple minutes. There are a bunch of slides that are about to come up. I know that um, we're going to let you kind of, uh, you know, take a screenshot of those if you need. There are several different um, places you can call. I tried to kind of put together a list that was very diverse um, and and kind of finding safe spaces for everyone um, of every background. Um, so yeah, screenshot this stuff. Go ahead. Yep. I mean, maybe, you know, and then if you do a screenshot, it, post it to the chat. You know, people can have it for later. Absolutely. I mean, all we're trying to do here is just raise awareness, you know, just present ourselves in solidarity with our friends that are struggling and just trying to provide information. So um, basically all we have left is a closing statement from you. Anything, all right. anything you want to hit on again? Um, sorry, pardon me, y'all. No, I think uh, even if you're kind of worried about someone and you're, you're not suffering with addiction yourself, you can call one of these national hotlines um, and get information. You can go to one of the uh, needle exchanges and ask them for um, information. And let's just really take care of our brothers and sisters who are struggling. And then I just have a quick blip. Um, it's this camera, right? Or is it this camera? Mm, or that one right now. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> This is to all of our brothers and sisters who are struggling with addiction. Dearest you, we need you to know that you matter. That because you are struggling doesn't mean you are bad or you deserve bad things. We need you to know that you are needed here on earth with us. If you are hurting, let us help. If you are lost, let us find you. And if you don't want anything but a friend or an ear, we've got those too. Be safe. Your spirit and your body and your love are all needed here with us. And you are so loved. All right, we're gonna cut to a Dead Larry video of all things. <laughs> uh, celebrating our 15 year anniversary, this is our video, Four Dudes in a Tiny Room, The Fall. <laughs> <laughs> what a way. Someone like me. I never meant to be so irresponsible and laughable. Oh, well, 
We're back. And uh, look, I just aged like a bunch of years. Seven? <laughs> I haven't aged a day. Uh, so here we are. We're going to play a game. It's a version of charades called Puppet Charades that I got. Lucid, Mr. Llama here. Hey, is, hey. Everyone say, I didn't introduce you yet, but he's here as our special musical guest. What up, And Kat's man? here. And after, you know, all that seriousness, we're going to get a little silly. So they have cards, which it's normal charades, but I, they have to, I am the puppet. So I stand here, and they make me do the charade, and then whoever <laughs> is, you have to guess. Right? right. You guess first. Okay. Deal. You're, you're doesn't yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, so don't, cool. you don't look at the cards. It doesn't right. matter if I see it, because right. I can't do anything. Okay. Do you want me to stand like this? Is ridiculous. Like this? Maybe should we pan out? The I guess now. Right there. Now it's up to you. Just, yep, camera's there, we, there. There we go. All right. All right. You ready? No. <laughs> All right, put your head down. There we go. You're a swimmer. What is he doing? Uh, swimming. There we go. Uh, oh, 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 pretty difficult. <laughs> so hard. I know. Get warmed up. Get warmed up. All right, I need a card. Pick a card, any card. I guess it doesn't matter if I see it. Yeah, but keep going in the same spot though, so we can get the camera. Oh, okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, so switch, switch around. No, or, uh, can we switch? No. no all right, switch. Well, it's, it's fine. Whatever. It's fine. All right. Okay. I'm ready. Cool. Uh, okay. You can keep your arms in a similar position, but let's actually. I do whatever you say. Tilt them like that. Okay. And then oh, hike this guy up without tripping the mic. Uh, Captain Morgan. No. <laughs> You're gonna running. Ah, oh, you already got it. Running. Boom. <laughs> Maybe I am running <laughs> away. Uh, come on, guys. All right. You just get the workout, dude. <sighs> All right. Okay. Me do boop. I'm a robot. <laughs> Bend your knee like that. There we go. And then put one up like this, like a flamingo. There we go. And lean forward. <laughs> You're lucky I do yoga. And then grab like this. Grab like that. There we go. Both hands. There we go. Uh, you're riding a motorcycle. Uh, you're biking. Rad. I'm a nice. cyclist. <laughs> this is a very active round of trades. It's true. We're getting our exercise. He swims. He runs. He bikes. We got a triathlon going on here. Oh, nice. Now, now we can go over here, maybe. Not okay. yet. Though. Um, this one's going to be really difficult. Nice. Okay, so Start I want up. you to just stand like this. I don't know how I can do anything. Oh, okay, <laughs> arm down. I'm a puppet. Take your hand, move it like boom. Tilt your head back. Open your mouth. Drinking. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this triathlonist has to stay hydrated. Yeah. Water, Gatorade, electrolytes. Triathletes. It's what plants crave. <laughs> it's what plants need. All right. How am I supposed to? All right. Oh, I thought doing? it was too easy okay. before. Right. My hair is you crazy today. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's just pretend that you're like kind of a butch lady. All right. That's what we need for this situation. And then, so you're going to be up like this. Here we go. Grab here and here. And a step. You're paddling. Back. Up like this. Baseball? Uh, but uh, golfing, you're. She's a, she's a, she's a. Kind Softball. Of, there we go. Ah, okay. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> you just. <laughs> <laughs> it was a home run, by the way. <laughs> Point. Okay. Played baseball when I was seven. Second base. It was terrible. You got to All second right. base. All right. We're gonna need you to. I just hung out around second base and everybody else played around me. Clasp your hands like this. Spread your uh, legs. legs. Ooh. You're going to crouch, uh, but like forward. <laughs> but forward. I'm a puppet. But forward. And. Uh, Skiing. Uh, uh, pooping. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, uh, nope. uh, <laughs> I can't. I can't even with this. What in the world? Are you digging? Are you, um... Okay, we're going to switch up the stance a little I'm bit. Swinging. Okay. Swinging. We're going to come back up. 
Uh, move your legs. I can't. Arm. How does this? Uh. I know puppets aren't very helpful, are they? <laughs> and then imagine both of these legs <laughs> jump. <laughs> okay, jump again. Oh, arm like that. Basketball. Dribbling. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing, but... <laughs> I have no idea what this is. Am I dunking? Uh... Uh, what's I'm another... Shack? Here. Track meet. Um... Okay. Jump! Uh, ballet. Jump! Uh... <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I think someone just said it. Jump! What? Oh, uh, volleyball. It is volleyball. Yeah, yeah. It was the bump. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> I played bar volleyball for two years. I was also not very good at that, but nice. it was fun. We, we knew. All right, we so we'll do a couple that. more, a couple more, a couple right, more. I need a, I need a believe card. you need the stack. What? I'd like to thank David Bowie for appearing on my shirt today. It's very nice of him. I mean, Jareth the Goblin King. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Coin operated boy. All right. Doo -doo um, all right, so we're gonna kind of do the same thing. You ready? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? We're gonna jump. Ready? Ah. Bam! You're dunking. There we go. Oh, oh what really? is he playing? Basketball. There we go. <laughs> this dude's such I'm an athlete. Grant Hill. <laughs> My gosh, I didn't know pup puppets were so active. Puppets are as active as you make them, right? This is true, I suppose. They're gonna be pretty active for this one. All right. Again, <laughs> again, we're gonna take like the squat out. position. Maybe you take an arm and you put it like that. And this one, we're gonna. What am I doing? Gonna kind of make hands. Okay. And you're gonna look down at your work. <laughs> Is drawing, painting, writing. Ah, writing. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. What? That, what? That is, is... Hey, what is he writing though? My novel. What is his signature? He's signing a signature. Mm. He's a that's a long signature. He's writing. I don't freaking know, dude. A book or something. Yeah, diary. What does one write? Uh, a letter. Calligraphy. Uh, uh, oh, he's writing a letter. A letter. Yup, yup. Sorry, puppets don't guess, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's my show. I don't care. All right, we'll do one more, and then we're gonna, then we're gonna go ahead, get get a uh, lucid, uh, get lucid. Uh, <laughs> All right. Senor Lama. And you're gonna really have to get into quite a stance here for this one. Are you ready? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Always never. Dun, 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 dun. You are driving. Driving? Yep. I was about to box. <laughs> so you gotta keep it close to your body. That's more, yeah. I was anticipating yes. like an elliptical or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cross country skiing. All right, well, that was, that was great. We should do this game again, John. That was really good. <laughs> Very good for John. It's been great being your puppet. Kat, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Um, like I'm I not, said, if there's enough interest, I'll yeah. do a live. If you guys have any more questions. We'll do an Ask Me Anything with Kat, you know, either today Maybe or... Maybe not anything. Well, Maybe I mean, about the same. That's just what it's called. <laughs> Ask Me Another, then. The AMA, you know what I mean? Like yeah. on NPR. All right. Uh, let me see what I'm supposed to say here. I don't think it's much. Galaxy shoes. Thanks. I uh, actually painted uh, myself. Yep. I cannot say anything before. This is the video for Miss Juniper, and it hey. came out. Yeah. Came out what a week ago? Yeah, it came out. Uh, qu uh, Miss Juniper came out last Wednesday. Cool. Yeah. Well, so but I won't say anything. But this is Miss Juniper. Hey. I lose a llama.
Hey everybody, we are back, and we're going to uh, dive into the world of Loose and Llama. Hey. So first, let's talk about this video. Uh, Mi Miz? Miz? Miss Jun Juniper. Miss yep. Juniper, first video of a series. Yeah. The yep. Epic of Epsilon. Yep. Um, so, what what is it all about? Sure. So, um, so yeah, Miss Juniper is the first of a series called The Epic of Epsilon. Um, and it's like a two, it's a two part story. First we visit um, Ms. Juniper and um, we sort of watch her as she, um, she goes around this rut of uh, self-destruction. Yeah, she seemed very destructive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and unhappy. Yeah, and, um, and the, what the video kind of portrays actually is um, it's, it's a manifestation of my feminine en energy, of my divine fem feminine. When I was writing the song originally, I was writing it about this, this girl with these destructive behaviors, and it seemed all too familiar. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and when I got like halfway through the writing process of this song, I realized that I wasn't describing um, another, another woman, I was describing myself. And I was describing, um, I was depicting the the self loathiness the um, the like the the substance abuse, the depression, etc. That I've gone through um, in the course of just searching for my self acceptance. And so when it came time to do a music video for this, um, I was sitting down with. Um, with my director Austin Swain, who, by the way, just does an incredible job with cinema cinematography. I worked with him on my last videos, on mm -hmm. these videos mm -hmm. too, and he always just hits the nail right on the head as far as um, capturing these visions go. Yeah, so, the emotion is very clear. Yeah, yeah, videos. yeah, yeah. And he does a great job of articulating. And he did all the videos for this series. Yep. Um, yep. He 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 did. Um, Ms. Juniper, which dropped last week. He did Quasar. Which dropped like today? Which dropped yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. Which is part two of the story. So we, yeah, so it is available for watching. So after this show, check it out. And then there's the next one next week. Yeah. And then we got another one dropping on 
um, on Wednesday, next Wednesday, which is the, that one is called The Epic of Epsilon. And um, that one is going to be a combination of both videos. So it's going to be like an eight and a half minute long music video. Oh, cool. um, but the cool thing about it is it's not exactly like just you know, just Miss Juniper and just Quasar, there are some hidden Easter eggs in the mix too. And so you really do gotta, you know, take eight and a half minutes out of your life to tune in and watch the whole thing. But it's that, really not that long. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think it's it's captivating enough to uh, to stay tuned and pay attention. And then I'll have another music video dropping on the 26th. That and that's right before the album comes out. Yep. Are all these songs a part of the new album? Yeah, everything, everything that, uh, that you're seeing depicted um, in music video format is off the new album. Love, with two L's. With right? two L's, yeah. It's very funny. I keep trying to spell your name Lucid with two L's and then Llama with two L's. <laughs> um, uh, so you've been working on this for a while if you have these videos going. Yep. Um, what can fans expect from, from this sort of thing? Okay. Well, um, just the album as a whole, um, I kind of want to break down sort of like the, the mind state that I've been in um, for the whole writing process and kind of like the bridge that I'm trying to draw. So um, obviously I've been, you know, I was in the writing process for a while and, um, and during, during that process, I wasn't exactly sure what I was, what I was getting at. I just knew that I felt it in my heart, and um, and I was just writing these collections of songs. But when I got near the end, I took a closer look, and I realized that I was literally mapping the um, the self-loathing, the depressed state that I was in at the time, as a means of letting other people know that that they're not alone. I and think you'll find starting with myself. I think you'll find that when you put things out there like that, um, you know, some of the worst times in my life, I wrote songs about mm -hmm. and then released to the public, and then not only were they accepted, but they're, I mean, they're, people relate to them. Yeah, so this brings people to yeah. That's exactly what happens. They're like, oh my god, I can can't believe someone explained how I felt. Yeah, you know. So, so that's amazing. You already talked about about the production. Um, so move on to who encouraged you in your life when you were younger to pursue music like a lot of people have like a figure in their life not everyone yeah but like mine was definitely my dad um, my both my parents are very supportive and my dad like put the guitar in my hands you know sure um, well I would say like growing up both my parents play music um, my they, high school yeah yeah they play like guitar and piano and do some singing and etc um, so music was always kind of like an element of my life um, although they support me in, in all that I do I wouldn't define them as one of these like uh, driving forces of inspiration actually I would say like so I used to like back in you know high school and college I would um, I would like drive around with uh, with my friends and we would just freestyle or we would just be chilling and we'd like put on a beat and we just we just rap and we would go at this for a while and it was one of those things where um, it just kind of came naturally to me to tell these stories in fast cadence and then when I got to college um, I, I linked up with this dude who um, who just happened to have a love for freestyling and he had a recording studio set up in his dorm um, his name Glass. Zach Savo, just to put him on blast for Zach a second. Zach Savo. So this yep. is a guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yep. Uh, real cool, real cool dude, and uh, and a close friend. And um, and he just like he invited me and uh, me and another buddy over to to make some recordings like in his dorm room. And we would just like we pick random beats, and we would just um, we would just go off at it, and um, and ended up just making like a couple like SoundCloud raps or whatever. But in those moments, I realized that I love this. I love creating music, and it's one of those things where just like telling a story, yep. it comes naturally to me. That's and good. so it was one of those things where these elements were presented to me from these outside sources. But then, when I started tapping into them, I realized that I had the capacity to like actually pursue this, oh, and, yeah. and, and it just brings me so much joy. So I just decided to start going full send on it. There you go. That's good. Yeah, just go all in. And then let's let's uh, let's talk about upcoming stuff. We got Project Earth coming up. Yep. You gonna be there? Yep. Yep. Nice. I might pop in for a day. We'll see how my life goes. Um, that's very exciting. A lot of good friends. I love Project Earth. I think well, that was the first. 
Harmony Park Festival that Dead Larry ever played was Project Earth 2009. So that okay. was 10 years ago. Nice. Um, and But closer than that, you have a birthday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a birthday on Sunday. So, how, I mean, how old are you going to be? I'm going to be 24. 24. Yup, yup. Nice, dude. You got, how are you? You got a lot of work to do, man. I'm going to be 31. It is the least exciting age I've turned so far. <laughs> Um, and then uh, my birthday coincides with the Dead Larry anniversary. Um, you know, we kind of formed on the weekend of my birthday when it happened. Uh, and a lot of times, like, I'll do birthday stuff instead of band stuff. But 15-year anniversary seems to trump the uh, 31 year. I mean, you know, I, can, I got plans when I get home to hang out with my wife and, and all that. Though I will miss her while I'm gone in Iowa. <laughs> um, so we're birthday buddies. And any other summer plans? What else? Anything to, to promote before we go to the Galactic Get Down promo and then listen to you play some music? Sure, yeah, yeah. So, um, so like I said, uh, or like we mentioned, Project Earth is next weekend. I will actually be playing in the Ohm Dome on, um, on Thursday night at 10 p.m. Um, That's good. That's good yeah, yeah. I, nice. Yeah, I'm really excited for it. So with that in mind, um, I would definitely suggest getting your uh, pre-party tickets yeah. for that. They're not that expensive. And who doesn't want like an extra night of uh, celebrating under the oak? So oh yeah, Thursday, come. Friday, Saturday, Harmony Park definitely. Uh huh. I don't know, yeah. So uh, so yeah, come check out my set. Um, Miss Juniper gonna Thursday make an appearance at uh, at 10 p.m. Um, Miss Juniper as a song will make an appearance. Um, and as an actual individual, well, that's kind of interesting. You know, I thought I thought that drag would be a nice, uh, nice spice to to add to some of my shows. Um, it would this, just be hard to do the costume change in a timely manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the makeup and there'd the be, hair, there'd be a lot of preparation work. Um, but actually, and I don't want to give too much away if yeah. you haven't seen the Quasar video yet. But um, I'm just gonna say that like. Quasar is part two to Miss Juniper because Miss Juniper comes to this realization that maybe, maybe this, this, um, this persona, everything that she's flaunting, maybe it isn't this external entity. And maybe this is all within, and and and, and, and so and so we follow we follow as she just kind of like comes to this realization and shows her true self. So um, in a lot of ways, I would just say that you know Ms. Juniper as an individual, that's me. That's a manifestation of of my feminine energy. But um, but yeah, so she'll be there. Uh, she'll be there at least some capacity. And, and I mean, in you, she'll be there all the time. Yeah, always. Cool. So uh, Project Earth. Uh, you got a lot, you know, and then uh, just, yeah, make sure to like like you on the internets, the social medias, if you want to yep. find out more. Uh, but for now, we're going to cut to a little commercial for a little festival we like to call the Galactic Get Down.
Well, hello. We are back, and uh, now we're just uh, here to listen to some music. I'm going to get out of here. Lucid, you got your mic, got your guitar, everything's okay. all good to go. Nice. I'm going to get out of here, and feel free to talk and introduce the songs as you will. I'll be back to say goodbye. Cool, cool. Well, okay, so uh, this first one that I got for you is a song off of my old album, or my previous album, Essence of Ether. Um, there's a music video for this one online too. The song is called Aquarium, and it kind of just talks about um, one of my favorite mind crevices to dwell in. Swim by myself in a room full of mirrors With lava lamps dripping through the cracks in my ceiling Riding on the wall got me halfway fed A graffiti in my lungs got a neon fragrance Spirits dancing out of the vapor Even haze in my mind got me hooked on a flavor Suave as a lavender kiss mm. Whispering away with the ambient mist, I'm gone. Bam bam ba da bam bam ba da bam ba da da ba ba da. Ba 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 da ba ba ba. Ba da da ba 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 da da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Oh 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 oh. Ba da da ba 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 da da ba ba. Half the time I don't even know where or who I am. Got a head full of air, not a care for the world, and an ass and not to sail. Blasting off inside of thoughts, it's better left unsaid. Deep inside of consciousness, searching for an air. Cause honestly, this infinity's got the best of me. I respectfully, I reject the request to surrender my energy. Rather, I suckle the dust of my enemies. Reincarnated to finish my destiny. Breaking the cycle, escaping the fallacy. This reality, I just wanna swim by myself in a room full of mirrors. With lava lamps dripping through the cracks in my ceiling. Riding zone. Oh, got me halfway fed a graffiti in my lungs Got a neon fragrance Spirits dancing out of the vapor Even haze in my mind Got me hooked on a flavor Suave as a lavender kiss mm. Whispering away with the ambient mist I'm gone Bam bam ba da bam bam ba da bam ba da da bam ba da Ba 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 da ba 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 da da ba 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 da da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba da ba ba da 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 ba Sacrifice my ignorance, this bliss been beyond belligerent My sanctuaries and aquarium, I'm a swimmer until I get seasick Tap the glass till I tap all, been filling my gills with the backwash Fading away with the backdrop, acquired the taste of a fresh start And swim by myself in a room full of mirrors With lava lamps dripping through the cracks in my ceiling Riding on the wall, got me halfway fed a graffiti in my lungs Got a neon fragrance Spirits dancing out of the vapor Leave a haze in my mind Got me hooked on a flavor Suave as a lavender kiss mm. Whispering away with the ambient mist And sometimes I actually forget Precisely how I got here It's tough to reminisce Perhaps I close my eyes While trying to make a wish Press a couple buttons and muscle pull the switch Said sometimes I actually forget Precisely how I got here It's tough to reminisce Perhaps I close my eyes While trying to make a wish Press a couple buttons and turn into a fish. So now I'm bam bam ba da bam bam ba da bam ba da da bam ba da bam bam ba da bam bam ba da ba da da bam bam ba da da bam bam ba da ba da ba da ba da bam ba da ba da ba da ba da bam 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 ba da da bam bam ba da da bam 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 Thanks. Well, that was fantastic. You do sing real fast, and I appreciate people sing fast. I do. I like to do that myself. Yeah, with um, with the old with the old project with Essence of Ether, a lot of it was like real hip hop. -y. It was like fast pace. It was fast cadence. Um, but I've been taking conscious effort to slow things down a little bit for love 
and just focus slow more. Slow it down for love. Yeah, slow it down for love and, and, and emphasize that poetry, emphasize that heartfelt message and allow it to be palatable. Yeah, try and say more with less. Yep, exactly. I have to make myself do that too. The song So Close was that, was me being like, my songs have too many words, I need less words, I need to say the same amount of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately for all of you at home and us here, this is the end of the show. Cool. So, we can thank them for watching. Make sure to like Lucid Llama on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. Yep. 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 Bandcamp. Yep. I got. To, I, don't know. I got a website up. LucidLlamaMusic.com will lead you to all my links. And just please make sure that you stay tuned. Every Wednesday in June, I'll be dropping a new music video. That's a and, lot of videos, dude. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it's four videos in. Um, and yeah, we've we've been staying very busy with that. And then the album itself drops on uh, the 28th of June. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you just find me online. You tune into all the things coming and uh, and find me at a festival. You know, come say hi and, yeah. uh, and give me a hug. Um, just out here trying to spread the love. And we all appreciate that. Next week, we have Mary Thompson, the one and only Mary T, is coming in for a, a very special Seuss-tacular episode. That's right. Her and I, we're Seussing out. We're having a Seuss off. Hey. <laughs> there's there's going to be a lot of, lot of nonsense in here next week. Um, I'm very excited to have Mary Thompson in here. We've been, I've been wanting to do a Dr. Seuss episode for a long time. I'm a huge fan. Um, but uh, I guess lastly, make sure to check out the Galactic Get Down. That's what brings us all together. That is the big event uh, in our, in our uh, little outer space community. Uh, July 18th through 20th, 2019. We're five weeks away down in Houston, Minnesota. Get your tickets right now. Save yourself some money. Um, otherwise, we love you very much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will sing us out. Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Oh, oh. oh I love you You know, sometimes you got troubles So many troubles They're getting you down But you don't have to worry about your troubles No more, cause Well, I'll always be around Because I'm with you through thick and thin Whatever trouble you are in I don't care whatever you do Just know that I love you Whoa. I love you